bullish and bearish divergence. So this is kind of confusing and I want to make sure everybody gets this down. Uh, there's basically, uh, there's actually a, quite a few different types of this, but we're just going to concentrate just for ease of learning bullish and bearish divergence. There's also hidden bullish and bearish divergence, but let's get it to that in a different video. So for right now, bullish and bearish divergence. The key with this is, and so this is a Bitcoin chart, and you can see on the histogram on the MACD where this histogram right here is lower. So you got a low, and then this is a higher low, okay? So it's basically pointing upwards, right? It's basically in an uptrend. Um, so this, you can see the price action that corresponds to this is your low, but this low is the lower low. This doesn't match up, right? They're going different directions as opposed to, uh, let's look right down here. You see how this is trending like this? And here, this is trending like this, right? The, the same exact trend. And that's how the RSI should look, okay, if everything's normal. So you look for these abnormalities, and that's what, in this case, bullish divergence is happening. So you can find it in a number of places. You, you can use the actual uh, MACD as far as this goes. But again, you can see this is basically going the same direction, okay? You can use the histogram. The histogram is these red bars inside the MACD. And we'll do a separate video on the MACD. And, uh, what does this mean, uh, real quick? So what exactly is bullish divergence? So, so this, is, this is the relative, the strength of the move is the underlying strength of the move, if it's bullish, is, is increasing. The strength of the move is increasing, even though the price decreased. And so you can see here how it played out. Even though the, it's a downsloping trend as far as the price goes, you've got bullish divergence. And so the bullish divergence basically caused this price run up, telegraphed this price run up. Okay, so this XRP chart. Uh, so you see you've got a price actions increasing. The relative strength is decreasing this time. And so you have to match up. This is the top of the price action. This is the top of the RSI, or you could use the bottom and the bottom, okay? You can't use one top, one bottom, and vice versa. So you, you, we're both on top here. Um, so again, you've got increasing price and decreasing RSI. So this is bearish divergence. So when you see this, there's a good chance you're gonna get a move to the downside. This is Ethereum, same thing. So increasing price action, decreasing RSI, and this is bearish divergence. So again, this is kind of a, this is clue number one that you might be getting a move in the other direction. You, you know, you really wanna to put together a couple different clues. Technical analysis is like solving a puzzle. All right, so this is one clue we might see a move lower. The more clues you have that point in the same direction, the better chance of the outcome. Okay, so this is bearish divergence again. So you've got increasing price. This is basic attention token from the other day. You've got increasing price. So see this orange line trending higher, but the strength down here is getting weaker. So this is bearish divergence. And we actually did see a huge drop off after this uh, flag played out, actually played out to the downside. So this is a clue that we're going to move lower. This is bearish divergence on theta. And we had a little, we had actually, you had volume decreasing. So decreasing trend line and volume. That's bearish on increasing price. So you see how they're not matching up. This is a downtrend. This is an uptrend, not matching up. This is a downtrend in RSI. This is an uptrend, not matching up. So this is, so you've got a bullish move in price action, but it's bearish divergence, bearish. And then this is bearish. You basically go by the direction of the, of the indicators. Okay. RSI downward, bearish divergence. Okay. Here's both. This is on um, FET uh, the other day. So you've got, see how you've got this huge move to the downside with the price action, and then it doesn't match up. The RSI is going the opposite direction. So this is bullish divergence here. Okay, so your strength, RSI relative strength is going higher. So bullish divergence. Here you've got increasing price action and see how it's using the top, top, bottom, bottom. They have to match up. 
if you look the price action here, if you were to draw a line right across here, this would be an uptrend, right? Price action was trending higher. Here, you've got bearish divergence and this telegraph, this big, huge dump. So you see that bearish divergence tells you that, hey, there's a weakness here and there's a real good chance we're gonna see a sell off. So you've got increasing price action as far as the, this high is lower than this high. Whereas this high is higher than this high. So they don't match up again. So bearish divergence because it's trending down in the RSI. Okay, here's eBay. Here's a higher high. So you've got this high, which is lower than this high. Here, this high is actually higher than this high. So this is bearish divergence, slight sloping downtrend. Now on this lower low, you've got this, high, this low is slightly higher than this low. Whereas down here, this low is lower than this low. So they don't match up again. This video, I know a lot of people have been asking me uh, quite a few questions. I'm trying my best to get these videos out to you guys. I appreciate everybody's support. None of this would be possible without you guys. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon.